Reverend is affected by various technical features and mostly the pure weight of moving parts. Large Abyssin, Conrod or a Valve tends to have higher torque ability but also low speed limit. Then there is a bore to stroke ratio, camlob design and many others. <laughs> BMW M70 Recycling old parts from a M20 6-cylinder, the M70 was built like twin 6s working in symbiosis. It had a pair of everything, all sensors were too, and even two ECUs. It was the base for the legendary S70 engine used in a McLaren F1 or a BMW Le Mans car with the highest redline of 8000, but the tame version only rose to 6000. <laughs> Ford Triton V10 Based on the modular engine series of V8s only, where even the GT350 Voodoo engine is, the V10 was sourced from a 5.4 liter and had either two or three valve setup. It was only meant for heavy duty pickup trucks and was a gasoline alternative to Cummins engines etc. It used 72 degree space firing intervals and a balancing shaft for smoother engine run. <laughs> GM Vortec 8100. Unlike all the big blocks, this Vortec used different firing order, longer connecting rods, metric threads throughout the whole engine and many others. It was one of the largest 8 cylinders in automobiles and was capable of incredible torque figures. The 8100 was also used as a marine unit and redlined at 5000 rpm. <laughs> Magnum V10 8.0 Similarly like the Viper V10, this engine had the exact same bore and stroke dimensions but was aimed for a very different purpose. Both of them peaked at something around 4000 rpm but it was redundant to cross 4500 rpm border in the Magnum. Ford 300 The Ford 300 is one of the most grateful engines to work with as it lasts a long time and only requires a regular maintenance. Alongside its small sibling, the 3.9 liter, it was produced for 32 years. Its usable rev range is about 2000 rpm wide from 1600 rpm with a peak torque to 4400 rpm with a peak power. Cadillac 16 
This car was requested to be faster and smoother than anything comparable, and so a 16-cylinder overhead valve engine was developed for it, hence its name. It was incredibly torquey, with the peak at just 1400 rpm and redline under 4k. Its later generation received a wider angle unit, with a slightly higher revving flathead design. Napier Bentley. Using a marine engine based on an aircraft Napier Lion unit, the Napier's Bentley underpinnings is a Bentley 8 liter with that mighty free bank W12. There is a double overhead cam design with 4 valve setup and water cooling. Considering all these facts, its weight of about 435 kg dry is not that bad. Fiat S76. Unlike the Napier Bentley, this Fiat was originally built on the chassis with that huge engine. It is slightly larger, but has significantly larger pistons and also lower engine speed. The only goal this S76 was developed for was a speed record to break, which it did, 213 km per hour or 132 miles per hour in 1910. BMW Brutus. To keep a German legend living, a technical museum in Zinsheim decided to purchase an Aero BMW 4 engine and mount it into a car. It was one of those engines with articulated connecting rods, meaning that each bank had slightly different stroke. A maximum engine speed for takeoffs was just 1700 rpm. <laughs> Darak 200. Live axles, naked engine, and a pure power transmitted through a two speed manual gearbox. The Darak 200 is something that resembles a car and was purposely built to break a land speed record. It was not successful, but with a speed of 196 km per hour, 122 mph, it was fast indeed. Right. 